Migrants continuing to overwhelm our southern border, and now we're learning that a smuggler who has ties to ISIS has helped migrants enter the United States from Mexico, raising alarms across the government. The FBI currently investigating more than a dozen migrants, including individuals from Uzbekistan who sought asylum at our southern border earlier this year with the assistance of this smuggler who has ties to ISIS. Now, there's lots of concerns about the vulnerability of our border, but now the potential for terrorists to exploit the surge of migrants. Senator Ted Cruz speaking to our own Eric Bowling last night on The Balance. Here's what he said. We're also seeing record numbers of people on the terror watch list. If you're a radical Islamic terrorist, if you're a jihadist, right now Joe Biden has an open invitation, come to our southern border and cross. And we're going to see a horrific attack, tragically, I fear, from these Biden open borders. And they don't care about solving it. All right, let's bring in our panel now to discuss this. Senior National Security Fellow for the Center of Immigration Studies, author of America's Covert Border War, author Todd Bensman joins us today, and Texas congressional candidate Myra Flores. Welcome to you both. Thank Great you for having here. us. You know, sobering words from Ted Cruz we just heard. Uh, <laughs> soft targets are a real thing. And when we see uh, an ISIS smuggler, Todd, a lot of folks are saying, you know, this needs to be taken extremely seriously, but it appears the Biden administration is downplaying the situation. Well, for 20 years, the national security establishment has had programs in place to tag and put aside people from countries like Uzbekistan uh, as special interest aliens so that they can be interviewed in depth by FBI agents our ICE intelligence officers. This is described at great length in my book, America's Covert Border War. The fact that the administration found out afterwards and then had to do this crazy manhunt through the interior of America to track down the 12 Uzbeks tells us that they did not do the interviews on the front end. And it tells us also that this mass migration crisis has collapsed the counterterrorism programs that were working so well at the border to date. And I do believe, I agree with Cruz, that we are at an elevated risk uh, of a terror attack through the southern border because of the mass migration crisis. All those programs are collapsed right now. How could you not I feel that way? I mean, Myra, you're running again for office to try and impact change because under Mayorkas, we have had a completely open border. And you're down there. You, ha you have your family down at the border. We've got smugglers now with ISIS just roaming free. I'll be honest with you. This has been happening for, for about two years now. This is not the first time we see people coming in into this country with a terrorist on the terrorist watch list. So I'm not surprised at all about this. But to be honest with you, this is the best time for terrorists to come here to this country because we don't have a secure border. The Biden administration encourages illegal immigration with his policies. And it, it's heartbreaking because it puts the American people in great danger. And it also, it's also putting migrants who are coming into this country in danger as well. Yeah, it does. And, you know, we're talking years. You know, time's going to run out. We got to be super uh, alert. And, you know, the people down at the border we know are trying to do their job. That's part of the frustration here. And what did they get? They get attacked. Uh, there was an incident along the border. I know, Myra, you were tracking this one. A teenager arrested on charges of assaulting two U.S. Border Patrol agents. 17 year old, we have his photo here. Uh, apparently got into an altercation. He put one of the agents into a chokehold, bites another. They needed medical treatment. And this is what's happening to the good men and women who are out there face to face with these people. They're not only criminals, that's, like we don't know who they are, possible terrorists. That, that's right. My husband's actually stationed in that uh, facility. I'm always worried about him and our Border Patrol agents. And these are not your typical uh, teenagers. These are uh, men with criminal backgrounds that are being released into this country, just like the 18-year-old that killed a 11-year-old little girl that raped and killed her in Pasadena, Texas. He was released when he was 17 years old. Yeah, he was and just from a few weeks ago. 
Guatemala. He, he did. A little girl found dead under her bed from a Guatemalan migrant who was released after entering illegally in El Paso in, Jan in January. What's it going to take? I mean, that's the thing. I think we're at such an inflection point here. If we're all talking about this and people are starting to wake up, the, the data reveals 27% increase in illegal immigrant encounters in July, 183, 500,000 individuals attempting to cross the border. The White House, this administration continues to say uh, that they're, they're doing a great job, they're stopping the flow, but it's a shell game. 7.2 million illegal immigrants have crossed the border since Biden took office. You know, Todd, you've been covering this for some time here, so what is the answer? I mean, it can't just be wait for 2024 and a Republican president. Well, for one thing, yeah, I mean, stop letting them in. Uh, the reason that the immigrants are crossing is not because of some new hurricane ab abroad or some kind of a new political crisis abroad. It's because policy is to let them in, and they know it. So uh, the the House right now has a, a majority, the, the GOP majority, has some opportunities coming up uh, where they can, uh, they've got the purse strings on some budget issues. Uh, use them, exercise those uh, purse strings. That's a legitimate power of the House. Uh, in the meantime, continue with the hearings because we need information. For two years of Democratic control, they suppressed all information about the southern border. Everything about it was a grand state secret. Finally, uh, with Republican control, we can at least start having hearings and getting answers that we can act on. But use those purse strings. Use the purse strings, Myra. I know you're you're running for election, as we said, and you know a lot of people. I do think the Democrats have taken that uh, vote, the Latino vote, for granted, and now we're seeing that folks who entered the country illegally do not support these uh, open border policies. And there's you know the huge movement now for people leaving the Democratic Party and saying no more. Uh, absolutely. I was just uh, yesterday in Cameron Park in Bronzeville, Texas. This is a very strong Democrat area, but not no more. The Hispanic community there have had enough. They're rising up and, along with me, are going to fight to secure the border, to strengthen the economy. They've had enough of the Biden administration and the Democrat Party. So you're going to see a huge uh, impact in the Hispanic community going towards the Republican Party. We've been seeing it cycle after cycle, but we're going to see a huge wave of Hispanic voting Republican in 2024. But we need to impeach Mayorkas and the American people need to rise up to remove the Biden administration out of the White House. Some important moves uh, as we're talking about, you know, concerns of terror attacks on our soil here. Great conversation. Todd Myra, good to see you both today. Thank, Thank you. you.